welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Sexy Icewind Dale, where we are playing that game. Nonetheless, or more or less, and more more important things, uh, we are gonna be finally moving in on to our adventure. We have seen the characters and blah 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 blah. Now our first quest is here. We have to clear some ratensies, some evil creatures, as per usual, as in any fucking game. Rats are the main villain of any game. So let's talk. How can I help? It shall be done. And of course, for us to actually talk, we have to go around the bar and into the bar, lady. Hello there, dearie. Hey, welcome to the Winter's Cradle Tavern. My name is Grisella. I own and operate this fine establishment. What can I get for you? How about a drink? A drink, of course, dearie, of course. After all, this is a tavern. A plenty to drink here. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, well, you see, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. I've just run out of everything. I have nothing to offer you in the way of drink at this moment. You ran out of everything. Well, the tavern has run completely dry. I do have some stock down in the cellar, but... Uh, but what? This is a rather embarrassing. But I'm having somewhat of a past problem down in that dirty old cellar, and I'm afraid to go down there. I do so hate bugs, not rats. Uh, just the thought of those nasty creepies and crawlies and shivers down my fat spine. I see. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, that's awfully sweet of you, dearie. But I don't expect you to go to any trouble on my account. I'm sure I'll think of something. I could see to your past problem for a price, of course. Hmm. I suppose I could scrape together a couple of coins as a payment for such a service, such a heroic service. Let me see. Hmm, how about five gold pieces? Would that do, dearie? Five is plenty. Your pests are as good as gone. Wonderful. The stairs to the cellars are in the back room. Now you be careful down there, dearie. And don't let any of those little buggers creep back up here, all right? So we have enemies. Your command. People, move. Of course. <laughs> Let's go to our first quest, which is killing not rats. Rats. There will be rats at some point, probably. But something much worse. Bugs. Kill. Kill. I want my warriors. Aaron soon. Nameless hero here. Go and deal with those bastards. Go. Our first combat encounter with the evil gargoyles, which are actually just evil beetles. Diego is cool, wasting arrows like that. 52 freaking XP. No, mind you, 52 XP. All the experience shares between the party members, so that's in total nothing. In total, you know, the more party members you have, the less you're gonna actually level up. Well, if not, you're not gonna level faster. Crates of a Foodstuff lined the wall of this damp cellar. Can I actually expand this? Yes, I can. God, thank you very much. Honestly, sometimes you just can't read. Wooden cask of strong smelling brews have been stacked in the corner. These rags hold numerous bottles of wine and other spirits. Hmm, a thick layer of dust and cobwebs has settled over everything. Yeah, the same thing to those. Very well. And them. I can't actually get anything here yet. As you can see, press tab and you can actually see stuff. Uh, let's choose Take all these guys in GTA for now. The good thing also about this game, you don't really have to wait for the entire party to venture forth. Uh, but you do have to be careful about that. Okay, Take guys, over here. How can I help? Very well. I have to talk with a nice old lady. I personally, there's a nameless hero, which is me, which is not really me, but it's a nameless hero. Any luck getting rid of those nasty bugs, dearie? My customers are getting pretty thirsty. It is done. They shall not pass. Thank you, dear. You are a lifesaver. Just do me one more favor. 
keep this little bug problem between you and me. I don't want folks thinking Grisella's place isn't clean. Run along now. So we get eight, 1,800 experience uh, and gold pieces of five, which is actually much like it's an amazing stuff getting that now. Gold pieces, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but the experience is more important. Hildred Highhammer, well met. Why you seem to me like a fresh new vein of ore, all untried and untested? I be Hildred. Should ye wish to know, a vein of ore? What do you mean? Oh, what I'm saying is that ye look like a little new at this adventuring thing. No offense intended. We all have to start somewhere. If ye be looking for tips, I even have some news that might prove interesting to ye. Oh, I see. What news do you have? I'm not all eyes and ears here. Uh, mostly I've been keeping to my cups to keep the chill away. But I have heard that a local sword named Hot Guy is putting together some sort of expedition. Sounds like it might be fun. <laughs> I'll be going along myself. Oh, what do you know about this expedition? Uh, the folks around here say that Hrodgar be a valiant man, but now the time to go dashing off to his death. They say he be an excellent leader. We're headed up to the mountains to investigate some sort of a disturbance up there. He'd be best be talking to Hrodgar himself to hear the full story. Well, that's a good idea. I'll go find him now. Farewell. Excellent. So a little bit of news. At once. A little bit of news. And of course all of these guys are townspeople. They usually just, I guess, can tell you a few things about certain parts of the world. Rumors, stuff like yes. that. Which we'll do immediately. It shall be done. Haven't seen you in town before. You come from the south. Yes, I want to ask you some things about East Haven. East Haven? Well, I've lived here for a quite a span, I have. Things have been quite worse of late, though. Uh, do you mean the weather? Aye, the weather's been going from bad to worse. Never seen it get so cold this early in the year. There's no sign of it letting up. With all this snow, the passes to the south are going to get snowed in early. Hmm, very well, I want to ask you some other things about East Haven. Uh, worse how? Well, there's been signing of some goblins and such in the past. If you can believe that, they usually hole up in the spine of the world and kill each other. Some fool claimed to have even saw some orcs outside of town. Well, I'll wait until he sobers up before giving that tale anyway. Hmm. I heard some talk of goblins and orcs. Uh, not only that, but there's been the signing of a wolf on the outskirts of town too. We've been keeping an eye out for it, but it seems to be coming around just for a whiff of the fish bone carvings in the Absol's workshop. Damn thing must be starving to risk showing itself around humans, though. Well, there's that and more. One of the boys was out playing and he swore that he saw a footprint in the snow as large as a man. Assuming he's not telling tales, that would mean giants. There hasn't been a giant sin in the past since, well, damn near since as long as I can remember. Hmm. Uh, I guess we, <laughs> we can only repeat the same thing, but still we get more information, especially when it comes to the quest lines. And those are actually quests. Uh, well, certain tips about certain locations of the monster, which is also a nice thing. I've heard some rumors about creatures hiding outside the town. What do you, have you heard? I'm worried that the goblin and orc signs are tied into the problems we've been having with the caverns of late. Some of them have gone missing, but mostly only the ones coming from the south. At first we thought the snows must be burying them, but with the goblinoids about, it's more likely they're the ones that bury the caravans. <laughs> now between the weather and the missing caravans, the people seem to be handling the troubles pretty well. We're talking much of the same person like we're talking to someone else. Uh, not all of them, uh, Jonan, one of the steadiest fellows I know, has been going around with some tune he keeps humming and looks like he hasn't been getting much sleep. The troubles must be hitting him harder than we thought. 
is humming a tune. I uh, just keeps humming the damn thing over and over. Boy's gonna get an ore in his chops if he keeps it up. Any other monster sighting recently? Maybe a Hydra. Well, I don't know how much weight he carries, but one of the girls says she saw some blue skin figure down by the shore. She said whoever it was sings some song. Probably just her imagination. Hmm. I've heard some rumors along those lines. Can you tell me about the townsfolk? Most of the folks around here are decent folk. But I'd stay away from the old chat, though. <laughs> he lives in a little shack near the shore of the lake. Griselda the Winter Splitter cut him off. So the drunk fool try and get you to spot him a tankard. Watch your purse, right? Ah, so gross. That finally we finished that specific part, and I like that. That they no more the same thing. But again, do you mean the weather? <laughs> Uh, do you know where I can find Hrodgar's house? Hrodgar's house is in the center northern part of the town. It's the one with the gaps in the overhang. Hrodgar swear he's going to fix it, but I believe that when I see it. He's always running around trying to take care of everyone else. Why are you going to see him anyway? Planning to join his little expedition? Expedition? Yeah, the word is Hrodgar is being rattled by that messenger from Kaldahar collapsing dead at the front door of the Temple of Tempus. And he wants to put together a band to go see what the hell is going down on south. What did this messenger say exactly? Damn if I know. Only Everard over at the Temple of Tempus. And Hrodgar would know for sure, I suppose. Still, if it's enough to get the two of them riled up, can't be good. Maybe I'll ask them about it. In the meantime, I want to ask you some other things. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the East Area? Well, since you're new in town, you probably want to get a room at the Snowdrift Inn. It's on the eastern side of town. The innkeeper, Quimby, uh, is right enough a sort. He should have plenty of rooms available. But he just got an elf guest from the sound, so at least one room is taken. Uh, can you tell me any more about the town? Uh, aside from Quimby's Inn, there's Palm Abbs Emporium in the northeast part of the town. He can be a right ass Palm Ab can, so I hope you don't need to buy anything from that copper clenching jackal. Wish the damn Kalashite had stayed down south with the rest of his kind. Well, there's a temple of Tempus. That huge blue glass structure to the northwest, run by Everard. Here tell Everard's the one who saw the messenger from the Kaldohar, if you can believe it. Fellow died right on his doorstep. A messenger? Yeah, some fellow from Kaldohar just collapsed on the treasure of the temple, all bloody. Surprised he made it as far as he did. No one knows what he wanted, except maybe Hrodgar and Everard. Are there any places I should see while I'm here? Hmm, you might pay a visit to the Scrimshander, Absol, down to the southwest. You got some nice pieces of art if you like that sort of thing. What's a Scrimshander? A fishbone carver. Absol carves the bones of knucklehead and trout into little sculptures and such. Fetch a nice price down south, they do. Well, that's it, I must leave. And I'm gonna end it here just for a moment. I wish you the very best, as always. Just for a moment. And welcome back. Let's continue on. So we've talked with everyone here. Well, yeah, with everyone. We talked with the villager. We talked with this beautiful man called uh, Heldrich Highhammer. And of course, we finished a quest for Grisella. So let's finally get out of the tavern Forward. and do our duty. Not by me alone, but that's okay. What? And again, as you can see, you can definitely split your team and do whatever you want. And that's the beautiful thing about this. Again, you don't need the entire party. You just go with everyone and that's cool. Uh, or should I say, individually. So there's, there are a bunch of kids raping and pillaging this little bastard called the Squirrel. And I don't know if we can help him. Let's try it. I don't think we can actually talk with children. Oh my god, we can, but not really. You should sure have a neat staff. I have a bigger one in my pants. Just saying. Can I have a piggyback ride? No. 
And of course, Corolla has nothing to say to you, because you're beneath it. Don't touch it in my, 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 my bite. Anywho, then aside, we have a crowd guy and we have a bunch of stuff to buy if we really want to. And considering that we all, all my beautiful party members, have full armor and we have $685, which are not dollars, which are gold pieces. Uh, so that's fine. Otherwise, you would be wasting all your money, if I'm not mistaken, if you did it now. Because again, when you start a game, you have no, you have nothing on you. But this is the thing that I want to check out. We're gonna go into options because this is a very actually important thing to the enhanced edition. I do not remember this being in the original. So we have, uh, like, let's see, uh, we are playing on hard, insane, insane. Get monsters do 100% more damage. And characters will receive 100% more XP, right? No, we should not go with that. But we should go on that because it makes more enemies if you don't have any of the... I mean, it, you still get more enemies anyway, but we can go without uh, no difficulty-based XP and no difficulty-based damage increases, right? Right? Now, again, difficulty-based XP I might keep because, honestly, like, enabling this option will prevent your characters from getting bonus XP on a difficulty setting either higher or lower than the core rules. This setting will not affect extra XP granted by the Heart of Fury mode. On a difficulty-based, enabling this option will prevent your characters from taking more damage on difficulty setting that are higher than core rules. The additional enemies that spawn when playing on hard or insane difficulty setting will still appear even if this setting is in effect which is exactly what I like about you know in games in general I like when you have a bigger kind of a difficulty and you see kind of a, like new enemies that you've never seen before that's what I want always wanted in shooters for instance if you play a bigger difficulty you see enemies where they were never you know like you've never been that you you never see these bastards before in, the, in those certain uh, places so that's always a nice thing to see. So I'm gonna go on hardest difficulty. So that's me probably gonna even have more enemies, right? But we're gonna have the base XP like difficulty. Hell, we're playing on hard. Why not get a little bit more XP for that, right? So we're gonna try that. I was thinking of actually going completely on like this, the classical. This is the classical. You get 100% increase in XP and the fucking thing. But I'm thinking like go like this, or maybe just go with the XP. Go with just more enemies, and that's it. You just get the amount of, you know, just get XP as is, which is fine by me, I guess. I don't know what one to choose. I hate when you have a huge amount of choices like that because I don't know what to choose. Uh, we could go by default and all that, but I like having more enemies and playing by the core rule standards of XP gaining and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, again, getting bonus XP and difficulty settings that are higher or lower than core rules. Uh, we're gonna play on core rules XP. Just have more enemies to deal with, and that's it. Like you know, no more, no more, no more damage in the core rule damage. No more XP in the core, but just more enemies in general to be there. Fine, fine with that. I like that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you still get the core XP, which is not a problem. Uh, so first and foremost, let's go to a Poma Zeporium. Uh, to talk to the mad. Honestly, we have nothing to talk about, but better finish that immediately than down the line. I don't think... Yeah, there you go. Everybody inside, thank you very much. And of course, Thanks, man. our unnamed hero shall be talking. What is this? More barbarians come to my shop. Ha! No doubt we eat nothing to bother with but more wolf pelts and polished stones. Oh, very well. Let us get this over with. Uh, what do you want? Barbarians? Yeah, I think you're mistaken, friend. Am I now? I do not think so. All of you Northerners are same to me. Smelly and barbaric. Northerners? Well, I think it, you are not from around here? Hmm. I am Pomaba Kazmir. Royal Diplomatic Envoy of Kalimshan and appointed overseer of the Northern Caravan Roads. Okay, oh I see, your appearance as a lowly shopkeeper is just a clever disguise. To throw off any would-be assassins, am I right? Your poor attempted at sarcasm is an obvious sign of your lowly birth. 
I'll have you know that I am third cousin to the Pasha himself, not to mention a royal courtier in a good standing. If you're in such a good standing in Kalimshan, then what in the nine hells are you doing all the way up here in Icewind Dale? The Pasha <coughs> asked me to accept this post of overseer of the Northern Caron routes as a personal favor. I see, I see. Likely this post is an off, but a convenient excuse for the Pasha to get rid of a royal pain in the ass. I would not expect someone of your station to understand such matters. Now, if you do not mind, buy something or leave. Fine, what do you have for sale? So again, we did already bought all the main stuff. We do also have our katanas and stuff like here, but none of us have proficiency with katanas or exotic weaponry. So that's be pointless. But still, uh, <laughs> like composite longbow, all these cool longbows compared to the short bows, of course. I mean, I wanted honestly longbow for the ego, but it did not work. It did not work. Quarter stuff, we can sell these, because why not for two gold pieces? We are rich. We are rich. Like nobody's bitch. And that's it, right? Yeah. We have gem bag, which what the hell does it does? The sturdy pouch is especially well suited for holding all manner of gems and jewelry. Oh, I don't remember this in the original in vanilla game. I guess in Hans Edition it added a little bit to like a potion bag and a scroll case. I don't remember I think potion bag though. I remember potion bag. I don't remember scroll case in gem. Maybe, maybe I do not know. Do you know? I do not know. Do you know? I do not know. Good. And it was gem bag, scroll case. The good stuff right uh, let me see well honestly why the fuck not it helps in general considering thank you I'll take that uh, okay so I'm guessing they can carry we can put that like, like you know a, a casket we need a casket with an inventory casket amazing stuff just amazing and we're done with that right yeah we have nothing to look at or what you actually we actually do uh, this thick plush carpets have been rolled up for easy storage. There they are. Is there anything else? Ooh, what are these? These leather satchels are obviously of poor quality and workmanship. Their stitching is loose and haphazard. And it is doubtful that they will be reliably hold the weight of more than a few coins. Cheap, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hmm. No, not you, my friend. Not you. Let me see. Oh, you. A selection of Polish vases and oil lamps are scattered about the length of this counter. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, these shelves are stocked with various and sundry items, ranging from books and parchment to clothing, food and cookware. None of the items appear to be much of value. I'm guessing it's the same everywhere. Yes, it is. Anything else? Oh. Ah, ah, more carpets! On to the left and on to the right! Okay, Diego, it's your now turn, uh, my yes. friend. I am up. You're gonna go here and steal whatever you can. We're not gonna borrow anything in this game. We're gonna steal. Oh boy, and I there are a bunch of things to take. Uh, let's see, we have a dagger and another thing that I have no idea what this is. But I'll take it. It's mine now. Well, it's Diego's, but you know. Uh, oh, and there you go. As you can see, these are stolen items. I believe we cannot sell those to anyone. But nonetheless, these are also spell scroll, which will be able to utilize and a health potion, <laughs> which is good. We always need a health potion. It's a nicely designed room. I like it. I like the look of it specifically. I mean, it just definitely speaks volumes of its owner. Agreed. Yes, it shall be done. Move in. Very well. Excellent. Now we are again out into the East Haven. We are. Well, we are. We were already in East Haven, but still, we were inside some houses in East Haven. What the hell are you? Ah, snow drift in. <coughs> Let's talk to this fine gentleman. Speak your mind. It shall be done. Greetings, traveler. The name's Quimby, and I welcome you to my inn. Well met, Quimby. You seem rather enthusiastic. Ah, enthusiastic. Yes, it is rare that I get any travelers at this time of year. Thus, I want all my guests to feel welcome. Ha 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 ha. Okay, how about a room, Quimby? 
Okay, so this of course a bunch of stuff costs. Well, actually only three gold pieces for a merchant, really. He doesn't have ability to give us noble or royalty, and they would cost pretty much, well, a pretty penny, that's for sure. Okay, hear any interesting news, Quimby? Actually, yes. The whole town's been talking about the upcoming expedition. Into the spine of the world. Excitement. Real, tell me more about this expedition. Well, Rohar, no doubt you will be leading the expedition. I heard that Akalia, the initiate of the temple, is going. Though I suppose Deverard will stay behind to minister the town. Uh, there's a dwarf named Hildred who's going along as well. And even Pomab has agreed to go. Oh, what a grand adventure it will be. Pomab, I guess Pomab needs to move out a little bit. And he's annoyed he has to stay in this crappy town. Thanks, Quimby. Thank you very much. Uh, of course, I am ready. I Diego, <laughs> move in and see what you can get. That's the entire gist of this thing. See what you can get. I don't think we'll be finding much. And there is a person, I believe, in this room. Yes, there is. Uh, yes, there is. I'm gonna go. Yeah, failed. I guess he sucks at, at, at actually hiding. Oh yes, because we didn't really act. Uh, went with the points on hiding skill. So he is. Hiding a skill is kind of crappy, but that's fine. Unlocking uh, certain locks is more beneficial in the end of a day. And of course, comparing to the Baldur's Gate, you definitely need these shadow, hiding in the shadow if you want to utilize your things more. I'm going to save here because we don't know what's going to happen. Are there going to be guards or are there not going to be guards? I do not know. I do not know indeed. Uh, let's try it out. Let's unlock this. And take whatever you want. It's mine now. Thank you very much. I guess it wasn't really stealing because it wasn't red. Hmm. Maybe it's supposed to be red if you if you can actually steal a damnable thing. And that that's an elf. That's an elf that we heard about. Okay, so yeah, it's it's done. of course our friend's nameless nameless hero. Duty to actually talk to the bastard. Arabian Black Sheev. Well met, friend. I am Arabian Black Sheev, a Novevereska. It has been many moons since I have been seen a friendly face. Despite the dreary nature of our current locale, East Heaven is a welcome sight for these elven eyes. Hello? Tell me, Arabian, have you seen much in your travels? When I set out from Nevereska, I was used to a peaceful life. I had no idea that what wonders and horrors the life of adventure would bring to my ever-changing doorstep. I am glad I didn't go on the retreat 20 years ago. Horror, eh? Let me tell you about horror. Have you ever sliced a man from his belly to his throat? Or washed a man gasp his last breath as you hold his pulsating heart in your hand? Well, have you? Uh, no, I can't say that I have. Uh, I think I have to be going now. Uh, it was nice talking to you, friend. A sweet water and light laugh laughter, I guess. <laughs> I think we scared him a little bit. Uh, greetings, have you heard any rumors, any travels? Uh, well, I haven't heard any rumors lately. However, when I traveled through Kuldahar, I had a strange feeling about something in that valley. It's more than just the weather that bothered me. Something seemed amiss in the mountains, the trees, even the clouds in the sky. Something was out of place. Something was wrong. Now that you imagine it, something does seem out of place. I can't quite put my finger on it, but yeah, something's been odd about this weather. Hmm. Be careful in your travels. Farewell. Okay, that's about it, right? Okay, so we talked to a man. We scared him a little bit. Poor evil bastard. But it's time to move on. Agreed. There are a bunch of quests to finish. Women to find. Rape and pillage and burn, of course. So moving on. I think that's about here in this locale. Uh, we're gonna find Steam. We, I mean, we do have a lot of things to finish in this, specifically in the town itself. Well, a few quests, that is. Like... This persona right here, he's a humming a tune that nobody knows what it actually is, but we do, don't we? 
Hmm, yeah, hmm. Oh, oh, sorry, friend. Huh? I didn't see you standing there. Uh, name's Jonin. Something I can do for you? Are you alright? You seem preoccupied. No, no, I'm fine. I'm just taking in the view of the lake for a bit. Trying to shake these dreams out of my head. The lake's beautiful, isn't it? Dream. Usually those fade upon waking, friend. Mayhap a day's word of fishing will chase them away. Ah, well, the dreams have been fishing in me of late, friend. So much so I can barely catch a wing before they rose me from it. A frustration it is at times. Sometimes it seems like they're more than real than the waking world. What kind of dream? Well, there's a woman, and, and don't give me that eye, it's not like you'd think. Um, and she walks upon the surface of the lake as if it were flagstones instead of waves. She doesn't say anything, just sings beautiful songs, but I can't understand the word. Well, if dreams are your only worry, Jonan, your life can't be too bad. Dreams should be a comfort, not a curse. If truth be told, friend, I... Damn it, there's no sense to it. These dreams are eating at me like a starving wolf. I can barely hold a daily thought in my head before the memory of the dream hounds its way back in there. I... By the hells, I don't know how much more of this I can take. If I can find some way to help you, Joan, and I will. I don't know how I can, but I'll see what I can find out. Hey, you're not playing on a man's hopes, are you? I'd be grateful for just one night of peace. We met a weary fisherman named Jonan. His sleep has been plagued by dreams of a woman who walks upon the waves and sings to him. We told him here we would see what we could do to help him. But how does one drive away dreams? Speak your forward. Now what I love again about this is just the setting. I can I have I will always say that I just love snow setting in games if they're done well. Not every game that has a snow theme it does is has a good feel about them, right? But considering this is an RPG, in an RPG you can really RP that experience and make it you know horror or or file you know something some kind of a fantasy you really want out of it, you know, out of the place itself. You know, I mean, of course, this one is having a specific quest line, a specific everything, but thinking about how if you had a real D&D &D party and you, like, specifically go onto this place and you make your own quest, maybe there's an alien saucer somewhere hidden, you know, the thing. <laughs> you know, something evil is in here somewhere in the deep crevasses of some of the world, and specifically in this one. And you just think about horrors and all that, and it's how scary that would be. You know, oh man, just mix with mix with snow. It's just mind blowingly like good. Oh, thank God! Wherever you are, you picked the perfect time to wander by. I could really use some help. My name is me. Who might you be? The name's Absol. But please, we don't have time for such pleasantries. I need your help. What well, seems to be the problem? A wolf somehow got into my workshop, and he's tearing the place apart. It attacked me as I was opening the shop this morning. I was so startled by the sight of the bees that I accidentally broke the key off in the lock while trying to get away. Now I can't even get back in. Your shop? What do you sell? I am Screamshed. I carve the huge bony skulls of knucklehead trout into fine works of art. This summer, Southlanders will come up and buy my pieces to take back to their fancy shops. That is, of course, if I ever get any work done. Damn wolf. What is it exactly that you want me to do? I'd be more grateful, most grateful, if you could go in there and get rid of that stupid thing for me. Then I could get back to my scrimshaw. Of course, you will have to find a way to get the door open for Sounds like quite a task. What's in it for me? Oh, all right, all right, you greedy bastard. I'll throw in some gold for your trouble. Will that satisfy your copper-clenching black heart? No, not no, no. But yes, very well. I'll dispatch your troublesome hound shortly. I sincerely thank you. 
Uh, the door to my shop is just around the corner here. Please, please get rid of that demonic canine as soon as possible. Okay, we agreed to help the old screen changer Absol by breaking into his shop and dispatching the wolf that has somehow found its way inside. Diego! <laughs> Diego is gonna do everything for us, and being that there is a Diego, this is gonna be a perfect opportunity for him to show his skills. Succeeded, did we? Move in. I wonder if we only had like two guys inside killing the all the beasts, will everybody get the XP? That's what I wonder. But I don't care, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it. Everybody gets inside and kills the beast. Agreed. Excellent, attack that bastard. Excellent. Let me just see who is attacking, who isn't attacking. Oh my god. This woman will be the death of me. Yes. And she is here. Excellent. Now we have. I mean, we can kill it like in a few hits, but yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I was. I mean, you have to worry about Milton and, and Lester. After all, they they are a little bit on on a tight uh, thingy, you know. Like, well, they can die by one being one shot by the enemy. But mind you, we are playing by the core rules, so the damage you feel upon us is like in the core rule settings. Uh, so there is no like OMG, but they are good. we're just gonna expect more enemies and that's it Which is fine because again, this is more this game is more action oriented. I have no problem with that uh, Okay, let's see what the hell is here uh, The floorboards in this corner have been torn away evidence of tooth and claw mark suggests that they were chewed through from below Holy shit. He told you that thing came from below Ooh, Evil Remind me of that movie from below. Ah, let's see. This wooden workbench is cluttered with tools and scrimshaw shavings. Various fishing poles and gaffs are stacked in the corner. None seem to be of any particular value. Rows of knucklehead trout bones have been neatly arranged upon these shelves. This glass cabinet contains several finished pieces of a beautifully carved and polished scrimshaw. Let's see what the hell is next to see. Is there anything else? No? Oh, of course, the main table. A number of scrimshaw carvings are arrayed upon this table. Each of them appear to be in various stages of completion. And of course, there is nothing for us to actually take in this. No? Okay. Speak your mind. Nothing? Even, uh, even, even the nameless wolf did not give us well. anything. Well, that's fine. Outside, go. <coughs> <coughs> that's it. Our quest is done. Your canal, of course. Ah, my friend! The wolf is no more? I am now a happy man. Thank you for helping me. Here's a little something for your trouble. We succeeded in getting rid of the wolf in Absol's workshop. Apparently the beast had chewed its way inside to get at the fish bones the old man has stored inside. Absol was quite relieved and graciously rewarded us with some gold and carved scrimshaw dagger. And I'm gonna end it here guys, I wish you the very best, and next time more. Love.